All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Rag Down Planting. So I was going around looking at my plants, and I noticed the Calicoe. This is a succulent plant. Look at that. She used to be so beautiful. All the nakedness used to be her leaves. So I guess I'm not watering her enough. So I've decided to clip off all the toppings, save them, and repot them. I think I'm gonna keep, keep the stick though too because it gives it a little something. So let's begin. Do I need to put on gloves because of the little sticky things? Just seeing if they'll come off on my fingers. No, they don't. Okay. So let's begin. Oh, there's one growing in the oh no. Oh, there's a baby growing in here. Look at that. Oh she's growing off this leaf. Okay, yeah. So, what kind of pot do I want to put her in? Do I just put her back in the same pot? No. Let's give her... I'm going to go down in the greenhouse and get her a terracotta pot. Okay, so I went down to the greenhouse. That was fun. <laughs> it's always fun going down to the greenhouse. Oh, I feel those stickly things on my fingers. <laughs> my fingers must have grazed this plant. This plant used to be nothing but an arch. Since I took ownership of the plants, everything on top is brand new. And I can feel her little sticklies on my fingers. Uh, they're hard to pick off. Get that, she is so cute. Ah. They are really bothering me. I don't know how they got on my finger. Okay. So, she's super cute. I love this plant. love her. She is so cute. And this plant has not been boring for it to be a cactus succulent. Yeah. So she's so cute. But be careful grazing her because her little sticklies, they get in your fingers. I need gloves. And back to the Kalanchoe. <laughs> She looks so sad, doesn't she, you guys? Oh my goodness. Obviously, I'm not watering this plant enough. But with succulents, you have to be careful because they don't like a lot of water. So that's why I, I weighed off of the watering. But she's so, she's, she's, but she, <clears throat> but she shall receive 
a clip down today and a watering. The plant looked like it's been in a fire. Look at all the babies she's lost. She's lost a lot of her babies. Completely dry, completely unhealthy. Needs new life. New roots, new life, new beginnings. So, yeah. Should I keep the roots that's in that pot, or should I, I should or should I start it just from this stem? The roots that's in this pot is pr probably no good. Let's pull her out and see what's going on. And I've had this plant for years, by the way. So she is one of my oldest, one of my oldest plants. Oops. I don't even see any roots, feel any roots. Look, there are no roots, okay? Look at that now. So she needs a new beginning completely, right? So I'm gonna clip this off and give her new roots, new life, new beginnings. And you see where it's brown and then it goes into the green? I'm going to clip it right at those greens. I'm just going to repot that. Should I? Just to see what happens. I want enough stick. To see. I want enough stick to put in the soil. I think I'm gonna put this whole thing in there. This is just for light decoration. If it doesn't come back to life, it doesn't come back. No big deal. Rinse her off really good at the sink real quick, one quick. So there she goes, I redid her now. She's all wet. Look at those <laughs> little stick in there. This is her pot. Put it back on the window ledge and see what she does. This is my other succulent plant. 
I don't see these plants too much out of sight, out of mind, because they're on the window ledge. They don't like to be watered so much anyway. This plant is quite old too. She's in a four inch pot though, so she's still small. And she screw a baby, because it was just the one at first. I like the pretty little lines. The specks on the limbs. So cute. This is one of my succulents. She definitely got the stickies. I felt it as soon as it hit my finger. Oh, that's the only thing. I gotta get some succulent gloves. <laughs> they have succulent gloves that'll protect your fingers from the stickies. I just don't have any, but. Look, see, this is how she looked when I first got her. See, nothing on this side, just completely bare. So we can see what side has been facing the sun. See that? I, I need to rotate her. So this is what she's looking like now. Look at their cute little babies. Look at that yellow. Oh, she's so cute. Look at those little babies. She has a bunch. She needs to be repotted. Look how she's leaning to the side. But I will repot her. I'm just gonna rot I'm just gonna rotate the plant so this side can get some sun. Oh, look at her. She's got a bunch of little sticklies on her. Yeah. Maybe I'm not watering them enough. That's crazy. First I was over watering them. Now I'm not watering them enough. Plants, honey. Yeah. Now she is, I'm most impressed with this plant here. I'm most impressed with this plant. I just like to look at those, look at those sticklies. Look at this little baby. She didn't grow all the way up. She just went all the way up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve babies. Like, I hope I can find a before and after picture for you guys. Like, I got this plant out of Oklahoma City. I, anytime I visit any state, I always go and find the plant stores. <laughs> I find plant stores and I visit a bunch in Oklahoma and they did not have plants. Not none that I already had. So I was shocked about that. I need to go, I need to visit or travel someplace warm. That's where the plants are. Well, thank you so much for watching Ragdown Planting. Over and out. <laughs>